In today's episode, you will learn how to get started with MicroPython on ESP32 using Tony IDE. I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of how to install MicroPython firmware on the ESP32 and how to program your ESP32 development board with MicroPython using Tony IDE. In the end, we will also write LED blinking program using MicroPython. Before we begin the installation process, make sure you have an ESP32 board. There are different variants of the ESP32 boards. As you can see, I have these two boards and I can select either of them. However, personally, I prefer this one. If you check my ESP32 based projects, you will see that I have been using it for years because its build quality is good. It is also durable and you can connect a LiPo battery with it and it has more GPI opens. So I highly recommend getting yourself a pair of these ESP32 boards. I have added the Amazon link to the same exact ESP32 board in the description. Anyway, you will also need a USB cable and a computer with Tony IDE installed. So without any further delay, let's get started. I have already installed Tony IDE. Its installation is very simple. Whenever you install Tony IDE, try to install its latest version. I don't know which system you have, but when you install Tony IDE, you will get an idea. Tony IDE installation is like other software installations. Anyways, after installing Tony IDE on your laptop, next step is to download the MicroPython firmware. For this, visit the MicroPython download page and download the latest MicroPython firmware for your ESP32 board. Next, press and hold the boot or a reset button on the ESP32 board and connect it to a laptop or PC. Next, open the Tony IDE and install ESP tool. Tony IDE requires the ESP tool utility to flash MicroPython onto the ESP32. For this, simply go to the tools menu and then to manage plugins. Search for the ESP tool. From the search results, click on the ESP tool. You can see ESP tool is successfully installed. Now we can install MicroPython firmware on ESP32. For this, go to the run menu and click on configure interpreter. On the Tony options and while the interpreter is selected, you can see it's asking about which kind of interpreter should Tony use for running your code. Since we are doing it for the ESP32, so we are going to select MicroPython ESP32. Next, select the port your ESP32 board is connected to. Next, click on install or update MicroPython ESP tool. Fill in all the fields. Click on the button with the three bars icon. Select local MicroPython image. Browse to the firmware file. Select it and then click on the open button. Finally, click on the install button. The ESP32 MicroPython firmware installation will start. When the installation is completed, you will see done message. Now you can click on the close button. If on the Tony IDE console you see the output like this, then congratulations, you have successfully installed MicroPython on ESP32. My ESP32 board is ready and next I'm going to control an LED. This ESP32 development board already has an onboard LED connected to GPIO5. So there is no need to connect an external LED. But if in case you want to control multiple LEDs, then you will have to connect external LEDs. But for now, I'm going to go with onboard LED. Here I have this simple program to bring the onboard LED connected to the ESP32 GPIO5. You can download this program from my website electronicclinic.com and don't worry if this program doesn't make any sense to you. I have already explained it in the article. Anyway, before you upload the program, first of all, make sure that you have selected the interpreter and the communication port. I have already explained it. Anyway, when your program is ready, click on the save button. You will be asked where to save to this computer or MicroPython device. Make sure you click on MicroPython device. Name your file and save it with .py extension.
Finally, click on the run button. Amazing, the LD is blinking. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.